All right, man, he brought me loud. Come back at you with another edition of his Booms Logic. Just getting in, tired from a long day, man. Made myself something to eat. And as uh, soon as I go to my uh, YouTubes, man, this is what I get. Before we get into this, man, uh, if you haven't already, he brought me loud. Booms Logic. Like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Uh, tell a friend to tell a friend, man. Uh, Good God, though, Mikey. I, 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 listen, I can't make it up. I tell y'all stuff, and it just it, it 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 just comes to fruition. What did I tell you about the Shanquilla Robinson situation? Now I started to make a video about this, not this particular situation, and I'm glad I didn't. Um, about them arresting the girl, the initial girl, uh, that jumped on Shanquilla. That's good. Um, shout outs to that news channel down there in Charlotte, man. They didn't stop. <laughs> they was dogmatic. I don't know who Shanquilla was to them, but man, they felt a certain type of way about this situation. And man, I went, when I say they mashed the gas, they mashed the gas. Um, so now they got the one girl and I guess they're putting out warrants for the other ones. So they got her. I guess she got locked them. She told the whole thing. I don't know. But everybody getting ready to get sent back to Cabo. You're going to jail. You're going to a Mexican jail. All, all I can do is praise y'all for that. Um, I'm thankful, very thankful for that. Um, because this family deserves justice. But that's not the point of this video. I told you about these fat slugs. Listen, when when we first started talking about this, it was three weeks in when me and you, when we started first talking about this, it was three weeks in. And I had been following the whole thing. Nobody was talking about this except for YouTubers. The first one was um, Pink Book Diaries um, and a news outlet down there. And then you had it kind of picking up steam and you had other YouTubers talking about it, right? And I gave praise to them and I gave kudos to them. For even putting it on their platforms you know what i'm saying because it really wasn't a popular subject but it was a serious subject right and what was the question that i asked them where's the black lives matter where is the you know the uh uh the al sharktons you know the jesse jacksons um the uh lgbt community where are all these activists at nobody is coming forward talking about it because the cameras are not flashing but see, now the cameras are flashing because this is not only national news. This is international news. See, this is making, this is, everybody's talking about this now, right? So now, all of a sudden, here you go. You got these fat belly snakes, just like I told you. When I made my video three weeks ago, I made that video three, I had to go back before I shot this video. As soon as I came in, right, I'm sitting, messing with my dog, went on the inside, okay, let me start cooking, whatever, whatever. And I looked, I, some clickbait came across my thing. I looked at the video, and I'm glad I looked at it. And I watched this particular video, and then I went back to the video that I, that I had made about this whole topic. This was three weeks ago that I was asking, where were all these people? Because there was not enough cameras. Remember the initial interviews with Shanquilla Robinson's mother? They were by herself. They, they were by herself. Now, what I want you to do, I don't even know who this, who this Negro is, who this big, fat, gay Negro is. But this is what I told you. Every time cameras come out and stories get big enough, you will have these fat belly snakes coming out to try to lap up and build up their platforms. Check this, check this nigga out here. And I'm going to pause it every now and then just to kind of take you back. But check this. I couldn't believe this. I said, man, we just talked about this. I don't know who this is. I don't even know who this cat is. I guess he's the next Al Sharpton. Let's, let's jump in this. So Saturday we have um, guest speakers coming in, um, basically to show their support for the Robinson family, continuous support for the Robinson family, and it's something that 
you know, the sit as a native of Charlotte, born and raised, and the community wanted, you know, for this family. There were thousands of people that didn't make it into the services a couple of weeks ago. So this is the opportunity to come and show their support with the Robinson family again and to love on them and basically let them know that we stand with So let me pause it right here. Now listen, because I listened to this. We only going to listen to about the three minute mark. Now listen to all the contradictions. This is what I talk about. All of this. Uh, God, these people make me sick, man. You are lapping off the blood of this girl, man. And you have no, oh man. This is disgusting. So the first thing he said was, because all the people in Charlotte where they were holding her, and I and I went back and looked at the, and it was a big procession. So because of the fact that all the people in Charlotte didn't get to make it in, they were gonna have this second thing, right? Now I keep listening to him. They were going to have this second thing because they wanted to make sure everybody got a chance, you know what I'm saying, to come inside and, you know, be a part of it. With them, and it's justice for Shaquilla Robinson until justice is served. Where did that be marching to? We're not marching. Um, she, Shaquilla has a grandmother that's older, and I'm sure she wants to be a part of the day, so we're doing it indoors. That's the purpose of um, having here at Little Rock. And I say the guest speakers will be here on the inside of the sanctuary and we have um, some special tributes along throughout the, um, the rally as well. First and foremost, it um, it helps to begin the, the healing process for not only the Robinson family but the community, the nation. You know, this is a story that touched the world, unfortunately, and with the the national um, attention that it has gotten, hosting the event was important to us to ensure. That her name stay alive, you know. Okay, first off, let's stop right there. Hosting an that hosting this event has nothing to do with keeping this young lady's name alive. All it's really doing is setting up a platform for you, your fat belly snake, and all your guest speakers. So now y'all got a platform that air all the eyes are going to be on the what the eyes of the nation are going to be on. This is why it's important to you. Nobody has even seen you until now. Nobody was the spokesman for this woman here until now, until it gained traction. Now there's a camera. Now you're going to keep speaking on, oh, we got guest speakers, we got guest speakers, and see, we want to make sure we keep her name alive. No, it's not about keeping her name alive. It's because now this is a national topic. Now you want to hijack this particular situation to create platforms for you and some of the yellow fat belly snake, probably gay, homosexual, whatever the hell y'all are. And you're lapping off the blood of this sister, man. And y'all dis y'all are disgusting, man. Y'all disgusting. Now y'all setting up a whole nother thing because it is gaining national attention. This is what you're doing. Now, all of a sudden, y'all out in force. Now, I didn't know San Quilla had a sister, but she's getting ready to show herself. You know, Durham, we all, Sam, justice for Shanquilla, justice for Shanquilla, but it's the days after, days like Saturday, the days after that the family need that extra boost and that extra support. So, again, it was something that was important to me. And I, I had a lot of people reaching out to me asking, what are y'all going to do? And out of respect to the family, I didn't want to do nothing prior to them laying her to rest and 
you know, during that week leading to her services, the world was right there at them. So I wanted to be respectful. And, you know, I made c contact with mom. Uh, no. Let me stop you right there. The reason you didn't say anything, you fat belly snake, is because there was nothing in it. You know what I'm saying? It didn't have enough traction. The eyes of the world wasn't on this at that particular time. When I did this three weeks ago when they was giving they lay, lay that girl to rest, Jack Jack even said, man, I'm glad you spoke on this subject. Only people really who were isolated to uh, Charlotte knew about this thing. Unless you're on social media, you know, on, on the YouTubes like I am, and you're perusing things and you're getting your news and stuff off of there. So for him to sit there and say, well, see, I was just being respectful because the world was at them. No, they weren't. The only reason you popped your nasty, I don't even know who this dude is. I know he's not a part of their family. You're just taking advantage of the opportunity to build your platform. This is where you're going to launch yourself. This is why you got all these speakers set up. Why you need all these speakers? <laughs> what the hell y'all going to talk about? None of y'all probably knew Shan Quillen. So what are you going to talk about? The healing process. What you need to heal from Sean Quilla's death from? Four. Y'all are, are a disgusting lot, man. And it just, y'all just grimy and nasty. And every opportunity, listen, man. Every opportunity y'all get to lap off the blood of your own people, you do it. You're some trifling dogs. Um, after the services, and, you know, we talked and we, we, we came up with a date and here we are. It starts at 4 p.m. Originally it was 3, but we pushed it back to 4. As things unfolded that, that week, you know, we, we all saw it. One, it was a slap in the face to the family. You know, the way... Hold on, hold on. I want you to listen. I got to back this up again because I want you to hear what this dude is saying. I really want you to hear what he's saying. First off, he's saying that the week that it happened, when it was unfolding, right, that, you know, was a shock and amazement to them. It was appalling. Okay, why you ain't speak on it then? Wasn't no cameras there? Oh, wasn't no audience there. So I want you to hear what he said. I want to back it up and just let you hear what he says again. I couldn't. I had to watch this about three or four times. I couldn't believe it. I said, "Who in the hell is standing in front of this dude and is buying this?" Listen. As things unfolded that that week, you know, we we all saw it. One, it was a slap in the face to the family. You know, the way it everything was unfolded, the the lies, and I think. That was a big piece of it for them to, to lie like that to the to her mother, her family. It touched a lot of people's hearts. And you, <laughs> you're heartless if it, it didn't touch you, you know, because it, it, it was just that sensitive. Here we go. He about to drive it home. A sense of hope and unity and a sense of you know humanity you know she, we're human you know and the way she left us because she belong she belonged to us now uh, the way the way she left us that it, it shouldn't never happen you know yep i'm i'm done with that it it is it, <laughs> Now, as a matter of fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you see the sister. Um, and let the sister come in. She's going to say something. The uh, St. Quinn's sister. But <laughs> she belongs to us now. She belongs to us. Yeah, now she does. Because there's a camera in your, in your gay face. I hate that man. Listen. If you don't like listening to me, my aunt told me, boy, you are so old school. Because I hate fake people. I hate stuff like this. It disgusts me, man. 
It's disgusting. Nobody was there for that woman. This woman right here. From the beginning. But now when cameras is popping and flashing. And you know. It's a worldwide thing. Now you want to be in front. Speaking for the family of Shanquilla. You hadn't been there. Now you want to have special services. Where you and your troop can come and speak. And people can hear how articulate you are and, and just how great you are oh man he moved my spirit but let's let's i'm gonna let y'all hear sam quilla's uh sister and then i'm done with this right so i just want everybody to leave here with a sense of hope unity love love is the key thing love conquers all so yeah that to be the the message let's leave here with love So, me and the family haven't had that conversation together, but if I may say, yes, there you go. Everybody being arrested and um, doing time in Mexico. Everybody extradited over there and doing their time there. That'll be justice for us as of now. We can't say anything. Yeah, we can't say anything about it, but they're working on it. That's the sister. They all look alike. Her, her, and San Quentin. They should have let her be the uh, spokeswoman. To, to let that gump up there. But anyway, man, I just wanted to show y'all this and show you. Like I told you in that last video, if the lights are not bright enough, these type of dudes, they don't have nothing to do with anything. You're not going to see them. You're not going to hear them. But when them lights get bright enough, Al Sharpton's and fat belly snakes like this, they show up right on, pop up right on the scene and talk about how it is affecting the community and we about to set up another thing so we can speak on it. Once again, hijacking the pain, the suffering, the affliction, and the death of this young lady. You lapping up the blood for your finances. But man, I'm done with this one and I'll see y'all on the next one.